Okay, hey, this um, Mac Speech tutorial is about how to use Mac Speech Dictate to write or create commands for specific applications on your Mac. And uh, as you know, if you're using Mac Speech Dictate, you know it comes with, um, you know, several hundreds of uh, built in commands but you can also create specific commands for individual applications so I'm going to uh, show you how to use the command for application called Tweety and basically if we're looking at application right now I'm not going to even use my mouse and I'm going to uh, start a new tweet so what I say is new tweet and it will open up a, uh, a window so that I can start um, you know dictating inside this window um, I can also select, and unfortunately I have to use my mouse to do that, I, have to, I can select um, a tweet and say um, something like um, reply and it will reply for me. Now it's a little bit slow, sometimes it works faster, sometimes it works slower, um, so it really kind of depends I guess how well you say it and how much you use it, but it will work. Um, it's not like the best option for using Mac Speech Dictate, but I'm just going to use it to kind of illustrate how you go about setting up some commands for it. So, this is how you do it. Basically, what you want to do is go to Mac Speech Dictate, and what you want to do is go to Tools and open up the Commands window, which I already have, already have open, and then you're going to click on the plus button here and you want to locate in your applications folder the application in which you want to create commands for so I've already done that uh, with Tweety so we're just going to close it but that's mainly what you want to do okay this is going to close down alright now you see I've already have three commands here ready so to create another command basically what I'm going to do is click the new command button and um, you fill in this information first you want to select um, a menu item so because that's most that's mainly how you're going to do the commands for most applications so it's a menu item and then it says you go here and you're going to look at say for example you go to uh, Twitter and I want to say um, timeline so I want to be able to voice a command to move to the timeline so it's a move to timeline alright and you can also put a subscription uh, description here if you like move to timeline there so you can do that alright now what you want to do is click out of this, go back to your application, and I'm going to try to see if it's going to work. First, I'm going to say move to mentions. All right, move to timeline. All right, so that's how you get it to work. So basically, that's how you you know you create it, and you can create different kind of commands based upon what the application will allow you to do. Now there are certain things that it will not allow you to do. For example, when I say new tweet, um, here it will not allow me to, I can type, I can dictate something here, but it will not allow me to um, bring my cursor over to the post. So that's kind of one weakness and there is no um, menu, menu item for posting um, a tweet. So so it's some limitations there but again you can try this for different applications and because really if you're using Mac, Mac Speech Dictate one of the things you want to do is, is use it often because that's the only way that you learn how to really take advantage of the program so that's it I hope, you work, hope this is useful for you thank you